Alright guys, how's it going? This is James here, and I thought I'd jump into Windows 10. I thought I'd talk about it a little bit and show you guys some of my favorite features and some of the features that we have here in Windows 10. So, the big thing that I'm really concerned about mostly is how gaming is going to take off with Windows 10. Now, I'm pretty sure you've seen general UI layout of Windows 10. I'm pretty sure you've been up to date with the insider builds, but I've had some extreme problems with the insider builds. And that was probably because I did not do a clean install, I didn't upgrade, but all my games were broken. And um, that's not the case now. I upgraded, and then I reverted back to 8.1, erased everything, and did a fresh install. So Windows 10 is a lot smoother and a lot better running than it was for me before. Now we have the new start bar right here, and if you want to, you can actually change this. It's really easy if you like the start screen or you're an all-in-one touchscreen computer. This, this is actually easy. So you're just going to go to settings and personalization and then go to start. Hit this little tab right here. You start full screen and when you hit that Windows key, there you go. You have it. I don't see why anyone would personally do this. However, as I'm not a big fan of it, but your opinions, you know, can change. So the whole themes thing, in order to find... Usually you'd go to personalize and you'd have the option to change your wallpaper and stuff in this little menu layout that I'm pretty sure you're extremely used to. It's not that easy now. You actually have to go to themes and then you have to go to theme settings and then it gives you this little drop down or pop up menu where you're able to actually change your wallpaper like it was before. So this menu was a it's I don't know why they would change this, but um that Cortana integration is amazing. I love the ability to say Hey Cortana. And then Cortana will just work right off the bat. I love that feature. I love it like I love OK Google and I love it like I love Hey Siri. So let's let's talk about gaming. So the new Xbox app, it's it's pretty legit. It's a lot better than it was on Windows 8.1. And um, it was kind of disappointing on Windows 8.1. I just I just felt like it was lacking things. And this one, I like the UI. I like the dark theme around it. I like to be able to create a party with your game, your friends, uh, type messages, view their clips and stuff, no matter if they're on Xbox or Xbox One. And the cross-platform play thing is really exciting, and I'm, I'm really hoping to see what that'll shape up to be. Now, for those who don't know, just like on the Xbox One, you have a built-in game DVR, but you can only record for a certain amount of time. Well... They have a game DVR built inside Windows 10, but you have no limit. Now, this this DVR right here, this capture device, is a lot, a lot better than Fraps. It is a lot better than DX Tori, in my opinion, and it is on par with NVIDIA Shadowplay. I don't notice a performance hit at all on any game I'm playing when I use Shadowplay, and I don't notice one at all when I'm using the in-game DVR. So, that's a plus there. You have the ability, the same way, to customize your avatar up here offline and different things like that. However you so choose. So, I'm, I'm liking the way that goes. I do not live here anymore, so good. This, this has not been updated for years, guys. And the store app. It doesn't suck anymore. It's... It's a lot better. Now you have, they have a lot more selection. They have a lot more games than they did before. So the games that have Xbox on them, as you can guess, have achievements. Just like the Minecraft for Windows 10. That also has achievements. And I've been playing around with that for a little bit. And it's, it's I believe you can play with your friends who have um, the same game or the Xbox version of Minecraft. I could be extremely wrong, but I believe that's one of the first cross-platform games. Now the UI got overhauled extremely and I mean it's just it's just an all around better experience. You're going to enjoy getting your games and media from the store. Now we also have multitasking. We had forms of multitasking way back then, but it did not look as smooth and it did not operate as good as this did. Now before then I had one from um, my Asus Republic of Gamers notebook. You just swipe three fingers up on a touchpad and it gives you your multitasking. It is not as smooth as this. It was not as fluid as this. So I love the UI. I love the new notifications when you get a notification on the side drop down. I don't know why it's taking so long to pop up. But when you get them it's subtle and I like the little chime. That's more of a personal preference. But that is a chime that I like. Now, if you are big into gaming, if you're a Steam gamer, and if you are, you know, you can add me at, link will be down description, simply jdog706 or Night of Firmament. But no games seem to be broken. None. 
when I upgraded in the Insider Preview, almost all of my games were broken. Evolve was broken. Um... Let's see, Dark Souls 1 and 2 were broken, Skyrim was broken, Far Cry was broken. The only game I could play was Tomb Raider. That was it out of all the games I had. Witcher 3 was definitely broken, and that just destroyed my heart so much. But no games are broken. League of Legends, all those other games. Emulators, even if you do that, that works perfectly fine. Programs, if you're running in compatibility mode, they still work. I have to run OBS to record this in compatibility mode for Windows 7. That was the only way I could get it to even show up for me. So, the Hey Cortana feature, and if you don't know how to set that up, and she's, she's, stop it, stop, stop, stop whatever you're doing, stop it, stop, X, X, that, that, okay, I guess it stopped. You, what you would do is you would go into, let's see, if I can remember how to do this, because what I did was I went to Cortana, search and settings, I just type in Cortana, and then now that you're here, you can just hit, hey, it's Cortana, and then if she she'll she'll set everything up for you get you some stuff to read and then you're good to go from there but so far windows 10 is a great user experience i'm loving everything about it i love the uis i love the start bar i love the start menu i love the way everything has changed and if you don't know how to get this to a specific color that you want it's actually extremely easy um you would go back into your personalization and then you would go to colors and then you would have show colors on start taskbar and action center so if you want it black or you want it to match the ui a lot more your whatever wallpaper it is then you have that ability to do so as well so if you're holding off on upgrading to windows 10 because you're scared some of your apps and games are not working so far out of all of my programs from sony vegas to after effects premiere pro and photoshop i don't have any problems with anything it's as if nothing was broken at all so windows 10 was a great choice for me the upgrade and i'm loving it so far and for you guys who are wanting to upgrade or debating whether you should upgrade right now i want to know why in the comment section down below let me know how you feel in the comment section down below give me your opinions and your thoughts but this is just a quick look at some features in windows 10 and some of my favorite features and some talk about gaming and um before i leave before i leave i forgot to throw this in DirectX 12 Yes, if you go into DX Diag or Diagnostic and you type in, you type it in, you go, do you want to check divers due to the sign? I don't feel like it. I'm just going to hit no. Um, you can see your DirectX version. So as you see right here, DirectX version 12. But we're not going to see a benefit from this until games start to support DirectX 12. There are some benchmarks out there that do support it, but finding them, it's it's not free. So far, there are no free benchmarks, but we will only see performance from DirectX 12. We will only see it, the new overhead, if the game starts supporting it. So you're supposed to get huge performance gains, even if you have a notebook running integrated and dedicated graphics same thing for your computers they say the older your system is the better it will perform DirectX 12 so like I said let me guys let me know how you guys feel about it DirectX 12 Windows 10 just your general thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below and I will catch you guys in the next one